Did you know that in Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2, if you enter 1987 into the elevator keypad, this will happen. So a top hat will appear on top of the nearby boxes. This is a reference to the top hat worn by Freddy Fazbear from the Five Nights at Freddy's series. 1987 is a significant number in the FNAF series due to the infamous Bite of 87 incident. Was that the Bite of 87? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we cover some of the best Easter eggs found in video games. As always, if you think you know of a video game Easter egg that I'm yet to cover, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to check it out. Oh, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe and do all of that other YouTube algorithm stuff. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, let's begin with a game that I think has the potential to be huge. My Friendly Neighbourhood is a survival horror game that takes place on the abandoned set of a Saturday morning puppet show. Believe it or not, puppets that are meant to entertain children can be quite scary when they're determined to tear you limb from limb. Surprisingly, there is actually a demo available for the game on Steam, so if you want to be chased by the friendliest looking murderers you've ever seen, then check it out. Now, the easter egg from My Friendly Neighbourhood is one of my favourite kind of easter eggs, a secret room. During the demo, after making it to the sewers, if you press the two protruding bricks found at the bottom of both sets of steps, then this will happen. So your reward for sniffing out those special bricks? A room full of rats. Well, that and a cassette that you can pick up which unlocks a cheat code that gives you unlimited ammo for your shotgun. Like I said, My Friendly Neighbourhood is a game that I'll be definitely keeping an eye on. Let's be excellent! Let's be excellent! Next up is the latest in the long line of Sony exclusives to receive rave reviews. Horizon Forbidden West was a shoe in for 2022's Game of the Year. Well, that was until a certain other game released just a week later, anyway. Still, that shouldn't mean that Forbidden West deserves to be forgotten. It has an excellent open world to explore, fantastic gameplay, and of course, some really cool easter eggs. First up is a reference to another great Sony exclusive. At this location on the map, you can find this. Kind of looks like part of a cauldron. Or maybe a remnant of some kind of temple? Carved figures. One looks tough, the other kind of fuzzy. Maybe they're brothers. So the Totems of Brotherhood War Totem is actually a reference to Brock and Sindri from 2018's God of War. The love for the axe-flinging Norse epic doesn't end there though. At this location you can find this. <laughs> Some kind of carved figure. Huh. Looks like a boy. So the Totem of Youth is a nod to Atreus, the son of the God of War, Kratos. Finally, if you head to this location on the map, you can find an axe stuck in a tree. Someone left an axe in that tree. Who left it here? I should check for a trail with my focus. So Aloy mentions that the axe is cold to the touch, and that if you use your focus, you can find who the frozen weapon belongs to. Well, following the trail leads us to our final totem. Carved figure. Looks like some kind of war god. So of course, the final totem is Kratos himself. After collecting all three war totems, you will unlock the Mark of War face paint, meaning you can destroy robotic dinosaurs whilst looking like an angry demigod. Well, that, or you can play with photo mode and make it look like Aloy is on spring break. 
whatever floats your boat. The next Forbidden West Easter egg is an Easter egg that seems to be cropping up more and more. At this location on the map, you can find this. A sword and a stone. Huh. Reminds me of a story I read in an ancient data point. I don't think I can pull it out though. Yep, it's another sword in the stone easter egg. It was only a couple of episodes ago where we found a sword in a stone in monkey based tower defense game Bloons TD6. Okay, granted, it doesn't look as good as Horizon's effort, but at least you could actually use it in Bloons. So we've already discovered multiple references to God of War, but it turns out that Forbidden West actually references another great PlayStation exclusive. At this location on the map, you can find a fox, and if you follow the fox, it will lead you here. So this area is very similar to the shrines found in Ghost of Tsushima. You may remember that you could bow at certain shrines in Tsushima and strange things would happen. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to interact with the shrines in Forbidden West, which is a shame because I would love to see hundreds of mini robot dinosaurs running around. The final Horizon Easter egg is a tribute to a member of the Horizon Zero Dawn development team who sadly passed away. If you head to this location on the map, you'll find that you won't be able to use any of your weapons or abilities, which is kind of odd. As you make your way further into the island, you can find this. I think this is a memorial. Must be for a beloved friend. Someone left a note. Here we remember our friend, with a view as calming as his voice, on stone as strong as his spirit. He was not just our rock, he was our oak, sturdy and stoic, whose presence brought us comfort, and whose branches touched us all. Rest in peace. It sounds like he's truly missed. This touching tribute is in memory of Patrick Munnick, who sadly passed away in 2019 at the age of 44. Patrick was the lead producer at Guerrilla Games and worked on Horizon Zero Dawn. You can actually sit here and enjoy the view as long as you like. Like I said, it's a touching tribute that shows just how highly thought of Patrick was. Right, it's now time for a real drop in quality. Internet Cafe Simulator 2 is another game to add to the very long list of simulator games currently available on Steam. The title of the game pretty much says it all. You're in charge of the day-to-day -day running of an internet cafe. I don't really know what else to say if I'm honest. It's another sim game with a hefty amount of jank. Well, a hefty amount of jank and some really strange references. First up is the appearance of a man who, above all else, loves his family. <laughs> so this guy is obviously meant to be Vin Diesel but he looks like what would arrive if you ordered a Vin Diesel off of Wish. It's just a really random Easter egg and I have no idea why Wish Vin Diesel is here. Vin's not the only random discovery that can be made in the game's tutorial. In dumpsters, you can find Doge and this bear who, um, who is very fond of children. If you spent any time on the internet during the late 2000s, you'll probably know who this bear is. Let's just leave it at that. The final game for today's video is one that no one seems to be talking about right now, and I have no idea why, because it's awesome. Shadow Warrior 3 thankfully ditches the looter shooter gameplay of Shadow Warrior 2, and instead focuses on making you look and feel like a badass as you massacre thousands of enemies. It kind of reminds me of Doom and Serious Sam in its pace, so if you're a fan 
fan of either of those games, then check it out. Now, if you've played a Shadow Warrior game before, you'll know that the main character, Lo Wang, loves to shout one-liners as he turns a demon into confetti. Some of these one-liners even reference pop culture, with this particular line being said during the game's prologue. See a whole team returning from Gulag? Shame! So Lo Wang will mention the Gulag, as enemies spawn in front of him, an obvious reference to Call of Duty Warzone and its Gulag respawn system. Oh, and when you take your new grappling hook for a spin, he says this. Yeah! I think I just peed a little. Ha! Does whatever a spider can. However, the best easter egg I've seen in Shadow Warrior 3 is found during the game's first level. The Shadow Warrior games have always had a strange relationship with rabbits. In 2013 Shadow Warrior, if you interrupted these two rabbits that were getting to know each other, then a demon rabbit would spawn and begin attacking Wang. <laughs> Now that rabbit was pretty scary, but that little guy has nothing on the consequences Shadow Warrior 3 dishes out if you commit rabbit genocide. If you kill rabbits in Shadow Warrior 3, this icon will appear above your health bar. You may be wondering, what does this symbol mean? Well, when you head to the next area, you'll find out. So killing rabbits in Shadow Warrior 3 will cause this giant rabbit-like demon to appear to beat some justice out of Wang. I really hope there's more easter eggs like this to find in Shadow Warrior 3. And if you found anything yourself, then please let me know. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of easter eggs and secrets in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.